According to Buncombe County officials, the death toll from Helene here in North Carolina has now risen to 40, a number we expect to rise even more. Governor Cooper calling the situation here in the mountains devastating and extensive. One positive update, however, the governor says that food and water distribution has started to ramp up and that 7,000 people in western North Carolina have already applied for federal assistance since the storm, which needs to be done over the phone or web, a sign they say points to those systems coming back online. But we're getting a better idea today just what Western North Carolina is up against as the recovery process gets started. Emergency officials say roughly 450,000 people are still without power, hundreds more are unaccounted for, and that more bad news is expected over the coming days. Still, the governor stood by the state's emergency preparedness plan and said they worked to get people out before the storm. Well, first, we knew that this was going to be a significant event, and local officials told people to get out of low-lying areas. We also know there are going to be a significant number of fatalities here. Uh, the devastation uh, was beyond belief, and even when you prepare for something like this, this is something that's never happened before in western North Carolina. The governor delivering that update alongside FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell, emergency management officials, as well as North Carolina State Highway Patrol and the NCDOT. Emergency officials acknowledge they are not going to be able to meet the extreme need that exists here in the mountains right away, but they assured residents that they are working around the clock to deliver life-saving supplies where they are needed and help get more people out. We asked FEMA officials, meantime, how long they plan to be on the ground here in western North Carolina. They said many months. In Fletcher, Sean Coffey, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.